All right, everybody, here's my bird feeder. It's hard to tell a scale, but it's actually pretty good size. Holds about 300, 300 pounds of seed. And normally I fill it up uh, the week of Thanksgiving and it, it lasts usually all winter long. But uh, this year I was busy uh, Thanksgiving week and then we got a bunch of the snow. We had about a foot of snow and I just never cleaned the top off uh, this year. But uh, this video, I have no idea if she will actually see this, but I said it on her page. I'm making this for Leslie the Bird Nerd. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I'm going to run up to TSC and go get bird seed and go through the process of filling this thing up. All right, here we are uh, getting ready to fill up the bird feeder uh, for the winter. I normally do it on, uh, usually do it the week of Thanksgiving, but this year I was busy and then we got all this snow and I'm just getting around to it, which I feel kind of bad about that. Uh, this was actually a gift from my dad. Uh, it was a housewarming present and it was one of the best housewarming presents that I received but also one of the worst because now I'm obligated to fill it every year. <laughs> and not that I really care about that but uh, it is it's it's a lot of fun. It costs about uh, depends on where you get the seed at and stuff but around a hundred bucks to fill it up. And the way I look at it is uh, it's some pretty cheap entertainment. For $100, what can you do from November to, it usually runs out in about April, but what, what can you do where you can watch something for uh, four or five months for 100 bucks? That's the way I see it. <clears throat> but uh, anyways, I am dedicating this filling of this year's bird feeder to Leslie the Bird Nerd. I don't know if anyone uh, who follows me, not many people, but if, if you're familiar with her, she's got her own YouTube channel and it is absolutely fantastic. Uh, she, boy, I'd like to pick her brain about birds, <laughs> but uh, it's a very, very well done page and I love every one of her uh, posts that she does on there. That it's just so entertaining. I just... I'm a bird guy, so my my grandfather is actually the one who built the original one of these bird feeders, and uh, when he passed away, I think one of my mom's sisters took it and still has it, and then my dad, uh, God rest his soul, uh, when we got the house, he uh, took the dimensions from the original one and uh, built, built it for me as uh, a housewarming present, like I said. And it's it needs a new roof. The roof's leaking. Uh, but I love, one of the things I loved about Grandpa's old feeder is you can tell where the birds come in and land. And, and they basically have, from just their, their, uh, their feet have picked away at the, at the edges. So they come in, oh, there's a blue jay right there. They come in from the woods and it's pretty neat when, when things get really hopping here you just look out in all this brush over here and it's like just birds everywhere <laughs> and they're coming in you know one one will come in and then another one will come in and they take turns and you know the they sort of fight and stuff but it's it's a lot of fun it takes about uh probably two or three days for them to really catch on that this thing is filled up i mean some of them figure it out right away which is always amazing but then other ones uh it takes them a little while, but it is like backyard bird feeder central here from from the time it's filled until until it runs out, basically. And this year it ran out kind of late. I don't know why. I don't know if it was because it was a warm winter last year or what, but uh, it went on into, boy, I think it was almost June before it ran out. And there was a lot of birds even coming in in the in the springtime and in the early summer. But anyways, here's a quick video. Leslie the Bird Nerd. Check her uh, channel out. I love it. She has more bird knowledge than... She's probably forgot more about birds than I'll ever know. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And maybe she'll see this. Maybe she won't. Something's got those blue jays all worked up over there. <laughs> I 
Well, about two thirds of the way full here. There's probably 200 pounds, another 100 pounds to go. Getting there. All right, well, there it is, all 300 pounds. It should last until probably at least April, I would say. Sometimes it goes into May once in a while. Just depends on how cold the winter is, I think, usually. But it took me about a half hour to load it all up. That's a little bit of a process for sure.